today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 insane Bear Grylls moments. Ugh. For this list, we'll be looking at the ballsiest moments in the life of the British adventurer known as Bear Grylls, where he shows off his extraordinary survival skills and probably makes us cancel all outdoor activities for the weekend. You see his eyeball coming up. Try not to be squeamish here. Some of the videos are not for the faint-hearted, so please bear with us. Ah! Number 10, Bear vs. Yak. The Tuvans are yak herders, and Serat wants to show me how important yaks are to their survival in this barren land. How about starting our first entry with a fantastic yakatizer? Sometimes you gotta drop the table manners to survive in the wilderness. What I'm gonna do is see what I can then get out of that yak that I can use for survival. Learning from the Tuvans, a Turek ethnic group in southern Siberia, Grills goes raw when he's faced with a long-haired bovid known as a yak. Although they achieve a humane way to kill the poor fellow, Grills takes his first bite, and you could say it's a bit cold-blooded, as he sucks the blood out of the yak. Warm, salty, but if you hadn't eaten, came across this, this literally would save you. But of course, the buck doesn't stop there with the bear, as he proceeds to skin the yak for his upcoming runway show, and he chows down on his next main meal, the liver and the eye. I have no idea what this is going to taste like. <laughs> Number 8, Escaping a Train. How on earth? I'm gonna get over this lip. How about man versus wild and machine? Okay, it's officially time for a courage pill. This episode starts off mild and sluggish as Grills paraglides through the Rocky Mountains where he makes a rough landing in the water. From there, he tries to find his way back to civilization while doing some free running down the mountain, zip lining, and eating a few critters here and there. I'm going to go for the swallow hole. But just as the show is about to wrap up, it hits the fan when he enters a train tunnel without checking the schedule for the next stop. We need to move. Go, 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 go. Grills literally runs for his life, chasing the light at the end of the tunnel, out of which he barely makes it alive. <laughs> Number seven. Number six, eating a raw snake. It's a puff adder. And these are one of the most dangerous snakes in all of Africa. If there were an award given to the manliest man of all mankind, Bear Grylls would skip all nomination because there is no competition. He has shown his balls of steel by going face to face with the Puff Adder. But he's gonna be lunch. This venomous viper snake is responsible for the highest snake bite fatality in Africa. And in this episode, Bear Grylls reminds us that these snakes don't discriminate. They'll go after anything. The venom in the fangs remains active for hours, even days. You want to be careful of the head even after it's off. Look, you see the fangs on that. After a couple of rounds of kendo with the puff adder, Grills eats it raw on the spot. As a coup de grace, he grills it with a makeshift bush oven as a finisher. Snake a la Namibia. Let's try it. Number five, a nice drink of urine. You'll need water, but if there isn't any, you can drink your own pee. For thousands of years, our ancestors have done amazing things with urine. What I can do, though, is take this off and then, and then pee on it. It was used to hydrate their bodies and for therapeutic purposes. However, some medical experts of urophagia, the consumption of urine, say that urine has no benefits. But piss off, mate, is what Bear Grylls would say. He has mastered urophagia, a skill acquired by few, but a life-saving one at that. <sighs> He'll drink that juice up with style and cool himself down with a shirt drenched in whiz. It doesn't smell great, <laughs> but this is really nice and cooling. Speaking of whizzes, he's a wizard when it comes to making water from pee and a flask out of a snakeskin. I'm all for cocktails, but snake innards and pee is not high on my list. Cool. Number four, 
drinkable can. But truly disgusting. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Ugh. Just tastes of kind of guts and pus and brain. When they're cooked, they're a bush delicacy. And at this time of year, there's plenty of them here. No wonder they fry them. Number one, organic dung juice. There's a survival trick I was shown by an old ranger. We're probably all sick to our stomachs by now. So let's find something to wash it all down with, shall we? One thing you can do if you're stuck out here with no water source at all is actually drink the fluid from a fresh elephant dung. Once again, water is scarce, and Grills needs to find another source to survive out in the African plains. Luckily for Grills, he's found enough fresh and easy to access elephant droppings slash water supplies to keep him alive. From the look on his face, it's obvious he wanted urine more than anything. But one thing Grills...